Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Matt. And we are back today with a game called Mathketball. And so it's basically the card math version of basketball. So, uh, the way you play. Well, first of all, so we've got some paper to play. So Nash has got paper and text to record his equations. I've got paper and text to record my equations. We've also got a scoreboard here. So today we're playing the Spurs versus the Knicks. Um, okay, and then we need a regular deck of cards. All the cards are included in the deck. And we'll explain what the cards mean as we go. All right, so we've tried to make it as similar to basketball as we can. So to start with, we have a jump ball. So Nash gets a card, I get a card. Whoever gets the highest number gets first possession. Now, king is a special card, so that doesn't count. That goes in the discard pile. So queen is a zero. So queen's a zero. So Nash, you get another card. All right, so nine is greater than zero. That means Nash starts with a ball. Okay, so to start the game, Nash has got possession. We use the two cards from the jump ball and we turn over a third card. Now Nash has to try and make an equation using nine, zero and seven. And the equation needs to, the answer needs to come from here as well. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to make it, are you? Okay, so that means that Nash, it's like he's taken a shot and he's missed. And so to decide who gets the rebound, Nash gets one card, because he's the offensive team. I get two cards. We turn them over. I get to pick my biggest card. So I'll pick the five. Five is bigger than one. Okay, so now the, I get possession. So the deck goes to me, and the deck is like the ball in basketball. So I've got possession. Now I can use one of these cards, or I can turn over a random card. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to turn over a random card. So we are now four minutes into the quarter. Okay, now we play 12 minute quarters like the NBA. So can I do anything here? I can't, I don't think I can. Uh, so Nash, it's your, so I missed the shot. So Nash gets two cards for the rebounding contest. I get one card. So Kings don't count, Jacks don't count. We'll explain what they're for later. So Nasha, you get the rebound. Yep. So now you could choose you could choose one of these three cards or you could choose a mystery card. I choose ten. Great decision. So we're now five minutes into the quarter and no one has scored yet. One plus no nine plus one equals ten. Fantastic. So write that down as your equation, Nash. So nine plus one equals ten. And that's a three-pointer. And the way we know it's a three-pointer is Nash gets one point for each number on the left-hand side of the equation, plus he gets a bonus point because he's the first person to use addition this quarter. So you can use any of the four operations. The first person to use it gets a bonus point. So on the scoreboard here, the Knicks will move on to three points. So it's three to zero. Now, because Nash got the basket in, now the ball just goes straight back to me. There's no rebounding contest. And now I get possession. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, 10 take away 9 take away 0 equals 1. So I record that on my sheet over here. 10 take away 9 take away 0 equals 1. Now, for my score, I get one, two, three points, plus a bonus for using the first, first person to use a subtraction. So it's a four-point play for the Spurs. The score is four to three. Now, we are one, two, three, four, five, six minutes into the quarter, Nash. Mm -hmm. Possession goes back to you. What are you going to do? Let's do one plus nine equals ten. Beautiful. So record it down. One plus nine equals ten. So that's a two. Beautiful. So two pointer for the Knicks. 
And this is one of the things that this game's really good for. It's really good for looking at fact families because obviously once you've found one equation, there's a whole bunch of other equations that would be easy to find that go along with it. The other thing that's really good for is understanding the properties of zero, which you can see Nash hasn't grasped straight away because he could have easily made this into a three-point yeah. equation. Okay, so Nash got that basket, ball comes back to me. I turn over the deck. Okay, now a jack is a turnover. So I've lost the ball. So now it doesn't go up here. It doesn't count as one of our 12 cards. Deck goes back to Nash. Nine. Okay. On nine plus nine plus zero equals 10 plus eight. So. Fantastic. Okay. Now, how many points, Nash? Three. So one, two, three points. And so it was a smart decision to put the zero on this side, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the 10 plus 8 doesn't get him any extra points, but that helps him to get to 18, which is helpful. So that's a three-pointer for the Knicks. So the Knicks are up 8 to 4. Okay, so possession goes back to me. And I am going to do 9 times 1 equals 9, which is our first multiplication. So 9 times 1 equals 9. So for that, bar, for that basket, it is a two-pointer with a bonus point for using multiplication. So I have, I move up to seven. I yes, have, Nash? Yeah. So what operation haven't we used, Nash? Divided angle, do I? Nine divided Hold on, you haven't turned over your cards yet. So possession goes back to you. King. Oh, great. Okay, so now we can explain what the king means. Okay, so the king goes up there as well. It doesn't go in here. King is, uh, he was fouled, so he gets free throws, and he turns over the cards. If they're even, it's a basket. If it's an odd, it's a miss. So first shot is in, so hold on. Now she, so the Knicks go up to nine points. And these go in the discard pile. Second shot is a miss. Now, because he missed his second shot, just like in real basketball, now there's a rebounding contest. So now she gets one. I get two, and we flip them over. So eight is bigger than zero. And I can choose, now I can use one of these three cards or I can pick up a mystery card. I think I will just pick up a mystery card, keep it interesting. Okay, I will do two times four plus zero equals eight. You happy with that, Nash? Two times four plus zero equals eight. And so for my score, I get one, two, three points. And the Spurs have taken the lead, Nash. 10 to nine. Okay, so that's 10 cards, two more to go. Ball back to you. Nine divided by nine equals one. Beautiful. Nine divided by nine equals one. Okay, so that is how many points, Nash? Three. Three points, yep. Yeah. Okay, so wow. you're up onto 12. Oops, I should be doing that in green. And the last play for the first quarter goes to me. Ball comes back to me. I turn that over. And I will do... Um, Oh, I'm going to do this to illustrate something. 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 equals 10. Okay? So, so 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 equals 10. Now, even though I had four numbers there, it's still just 1, 2, 3. It's a three-pointer. So in basketball, you can only get three points on a field goal. The only way to get this bonus point is from using the extra operation that no one's used. So it, we've used addition before, that's still just a three-pointer. Okay, so that's math, math get ball. Now, at the end of the first quarter, all of these cards get put back into the main deck and get shuffled up to play again. And we would put a box around our equations. We put a line at the end of our scores. That way, Nash can now make nine plus one again in the next quarter if he wants to. Okay, so we start afresh, but the, the scoreboard continues from 13, 12. 
and each quarter would start with a new jump ball. Okay, hope you enjoyed playing, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.